Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue and it's Becky Gagliardo feeding Simba the Savannah Cat some evening meds and snacks. I heard you had a birthday. Yeah, yesterday. Everybody wish Becky a, a belated birthday. Happy birthday. Hey Matt. Matt was here earlier today giving the okay? keeper tour, feeder tour, one of those. Becky just got through trying to get Smalls to eat, and Smalls was not having it. She's pacing around over there. I wasn't sure they were still out doing evening meds and snacks. There was a really sweet Hallmark moment over with Aries and Orion. I may go back and see if I can catch them while these guys catch up to me. Hold tight, we're getting on the bike. Close your eyes. Oh, what's that about? Why are you being so fussy? I'll tell you another one being fussy is, maybe I've got this zoomed in is why it's yeah, this is better. Um, Alethea. Oh, oh, geez. Ah. <laughs> okay. Getting the bike back up here. <laughs> My phone's like, you have a problem. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm falling over. Alethea Serval has only been eating a couple of ounces the last couple of days. Dr. Justin will be here tomorrow. And... There was some talk about maybe giving her some lactulose because she's also been on the no poop chart. Hey, Nala. And he said he could sedate her and take a look at her tomorrow. So I hope she eats tonight. Nobody likes to get sedated. Uh, Laurel, the hospital patients are fine. <laughs> it's not like there's room for another serval in there. Maybe that's why she wants to go in. All the servals are in the hospital. It's a serval party in there. Can't tell if that's a leopard or a jack bark that I'm hearing calling in the background that sounds like the sound of wood being sawn. Could be either one of them. Thank you for all the birthday wishes for Becky. Everybody loves Mama Becky, especially the cats. So, see, we got a lot of water. You can also see those mosquito dunks in there. Killing those larvae. Thank you, everybody. Also, a big shout out to all of our supporters. Those are people who have signed up at the big blue button on our website, on our Facebook page, rather. And it's 99 cents a month. I have no food, so I want you guys to stay right where you are, okay? Because you're so cute up there. I just gotta figure out if I can get up there, given the mud. <laughs> and now I got wet socks. Blech. You guys are too cute. You are. Well, since I already got wet socks, I'm going to go for it. Okay, somebody is going to want to capture this screenshot, given that it is so adorable. Supporters give 99 cents a month. And that goes to the cats, and it also gets you extra content, so extra keeper videos mostly from the keepers when they're out taking care of the cats. And everybody who gets it says that they just love all of the extra, trying to make this lighter, says they just love all of the extra photos and videos that they get by being supporters. 
And then you'll also see there's a designation that says top fan, and those are people who like and share and comment on all of our videos. So please like and share and comment on the videos. That'll get you that extra badge. And I think they even are getting some cool extra stuff from Lawana and all of her helpers on Facebook. You guys are so handsome. The whole time I'm watching them, I'm having to keep an eye out for their sister. Oh, there's their sister. <laughs> Speak of the little devil. There's those down there. I see you, little sister. Don't you come and get me while I'm getting them. Don't hide your face. You're so handsome. I can't go back any further. Yes, this is Aries and Orion up top, and little sister down there is, where is she? Artemis. Yes, she is being very cute down there. Yes, you are. I'm watching you, keeping an eye on you. Here comes the meds and snacks, people. Now everybody's going to come to life because they're all like, oh, yay. It's Catherine and Becky. They always have good stuff. Good stuff on that cart. I don't think you guys are on the list, though. Thank you, Laurel. Your fans are over here, kids. Yeah, there's nothing on that cart for you. Let's see if I can get a front shot. Oh, I don't want to be scary. I don't want to be scary, Artemis. Yeah, am I too scary? Oh, you better tell me off. You better make me back up. <laughs> You're going to make me back into the mud, aren't you? Oh, big yawn. Hello, Noir. All right, you guys. Oh dear. <laughs> so this is what I've got to get out through. It's not that the mud is so deep, it's just it sucks you down into it and it takes your shoes, or it takes my shoes <laughs> with it my little sissy shoes I wasn't wearing my boots because I thought that uh, I would be doing this and then probably going straight home from here and not back to the office so we will see where they are headed next where are you headed next Diablo and Dez. So far, everybody's kind of like... <laughs> well, hello. You wouldn't be like that, would you? <laughs> no. We will take all the meds, thank you. They want all the treats. 
there over there talking to Alicia. Sounds like she's not eating. Dr. Justin said he can sedate her tomorrow. Well, they thought she wasn't pooping either, but they found poop today. Oh, that's good. So, and it had been in mud. That's why people weren't seeing it. So she really is pooping. I don't know how you guys find it in the mud. <laughs> it looks a little bit different. <laughs> but uh, she did eat some today. Oh, good. So, uh, how much did Alethea eat today? Well, that's a lot better than she was doing. Yeah. yeah. Good. She I probably she, heard the vet was coming tomorrow. I think she wants to go and get her, like, her whole stuff again. Like her feather bird and all the stuff she started with. I think she wants to go join the serval party in the hospital. <laughs> it's like, all the servals are doing it. <laughs> I know. That was a good serval party yesterday. Yeah. I got to do them in the morning and at night. Oh. And Sheena was so good, peeking out from underneath her bed. Oh. Here's our wounded he warriors. He took it straight off the stick like I couldn't get it to the plate. He was like, oh, yesterday, I couldn't have paid him to take it. Every piece, he just choo, choo, choo. choo Who was choo, that? Zimba. Zimba. Oh. oh, he was terrible. But then, so she gives me this long thing. You got to do this. You got to do that. And he's going to be terrible. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, it's no problem. We had just left food prep. And we had, Zimba took his meds. We're like, what? <laughs> I came to rub it in your face. <laughs> hey, I don't care who he takes him for as long as he takes him. Yeah, he was really good. He's eating now. Okay, so since you're going to rub it in my face, uh -huh. Smalls is not taking her. Want me to try? Well, she's got her bowl, has her meds in it, plus her afternoon food. Okay. And it's over on the side. Okay, I'll take a look. Yeah, she, uh, she sees me and she's like, oh, oh no. Yeah, she doesn't know me that well, so we'll see. Okay. I'll go get my cart. You're going for a double header. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go Diablo. Did he come over? Uh, no, he's watching his girlfriend, Alicia. Oh. I don't know, he was watching his bed yesterday. We will stop by and see Manny the Jaguar or a leopard. Sorry, Manny. She said leopard. was telling one of the volunteers they were talking about what they were going to do for their different award or rewards like yeah. the 10 week reward and all that one of them wants to do opera with Manny and I just started laughing <laughs> <laughs> and I said I wouldn't do opera with Manny <laughs> nope <laughs> I think that's going to be a no <laughs> what do you think Missy oh, she's looking more and more like her mother Mother was my baby girl. Yes, she was. Go on. It's right there. Have you seen it? Okay. You act like your mother, too. <laughs> she was my tabby girl. She was. She was. So we mixed her Miralax, and we always use a plastic container. We can't use the paper because that Miralax, when it mixes with something, it gets watery. Um, so if we put it in the paper, then we just wasted it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Who figured that out? I don't know, but it's really true because I see a lot of liquid in it. him to Jumanji and I said 
Jinx is smart, but Jumanji, you walk over there with Operant and he does sit, down, paw, open. I mean, he didn't even ask. <laughs> but it's so smart. Is that good, baby girl? She's like, no, it tastes kind of funny now. I don't know where you're at, Jinxie. Every last little scrap. Eat your crumbs, Missy. Oh, you're gonna leave them? You're gonna leave them? Oh, you're gonna get a drink first. Okay. <laughs> oh. The uh, Miralax is to help her be regular, correct? There's Manny. I just did some artwork of you, mister. Hello, Manny. No, I don't have nothing for you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Jennifer, the bobcats are usually, I think, like somewhere around eight months old, six months, eight months old. Probably somebody here who keeps better track of that than I do. Jamie's the one who tracks it for the Florida Wildlife Commission. They have a requirement that if you're going to keep an animal more than 180 days, you have to ask for a special extension. And we frequently do have to ask for extensions because you're dealing with kittens. And 180 days is not long enough. Whereas, I think that rule was probably created because of adult animals being able to heal pretty much within that time, depending on what's wrong with them. They love those breezeways. <laughs> it's nice and cool on your belly, too. He's in a little tunnel between his two cages. I love that new small but mighty stuff as well. <laughs> I just think it's adorable. Yep, he's watching his new crush. He loves Alethea. One of our artists, Tom Hutchison, just did some beautiful artwork of Riza, Sandari, Seth, or somebody else too, I think. Um, but since all of those except for Sundari are rainbow cats, they probably won't be on our main bigcatrescue.biz site. Hopefully Sundari will be soon, though. You'll be able to find those teas on Merch and Teespring. Teespring is if you're on our YouTube videos at youtube.com slash bigcatrescue. Underneath all of our videos, you'll see links to our t-shirts there that are Teespring shirts. And the people who have gotten those Teespring shirts really like them. They say that the sizes are much truer than the ones on Amazon. It's, it's all over the tray, though. It's not a paper. Okay. don't know where he went. Where'd you go?
lot of our cages are joined by tunnels, but only two of them, I think, are up in the air. No, three of them are up in the air like that. <laughs> He's like, there's a crowd. <laughs> I'm going to be one less person to open this. Poor does. It's like, I'm waiting patiently, patiently, patiently. If any of you live in the plantation area, Broward County, next Saturday at 10 a.m., we're going to have our grand opening of the augmented reality zoo there. Keisha's being beautiful, so let's see if we can go see her. <laughs> see that? That's the ember wave. I saw it advertised on Facebook. And I got mine about a month ago, and I love it because I have hot flashes, and it cools you off. It's like $250, but man, I love that thing. Hi, Keisha. I have nothing. It's just me, so you can stay where you are. So I got one for my mom, and today got her all set up with it. I hope she gets as much relief out of it as I do. She said, do you sell these things? I was like, no, I don't, get, I don't get a commission. I don't sell them. I just think it's an amazing product. Keisha's so beautiful. <laughs> Mosquito repellent, that's funny. don't have any mosquito repellent on so I'm likely to get chewed up. We fog for the mosquitoes and we put those dunks in all of the standing water to keep the larva from hatching. But it's Florida <clears throat> and it's hurricane season and there are just going to be mosquitoes. There's just no way to get rid of all of them. Could I show it one more time? Sure. So you put it on the inside of your wrist like that. And it's got like one of those Apple Watch type bands. And then you push it. And you can see how it's blinking blue. And so I'm feeling this lovely, nice, <laughs> cool sensation on my wrist. And it's just enough to kind of trick your body into thinking that it's cooler outside than it is. And if, especially if you think about it, if you focus on it, it really takes your attention off of the hot flash really quickly. So hot flashes that were lasting me like 10 minutes are usually about a minute now before I've completely forgotten about them because I'm comfortable again. I have bug spray on my cart and I have those uh, wristbands, those like rubbery spiral wristbands that you guys donated to us. We've had several people that have donated those to the keepers and to me and so I usually have one on. I just forgot to put one on before I came out tonight. Are you saying your feed is freezing up? Stacy, it's called the Ember Wave. E-M-B-R Wave. I don't know why they call it an Ember Wave because it's like a freezy wave, not an Ember Wave. It can do hot, but I can't think of any reason why I'd ever want it to do hot. Who's calling over there? Is that Sapphire? I think it is. Is she talking to you? Is she talking to you, pretty one?
Yeah, Sapphire destroyed her ball. This is Keisha. Keisha was rescued from Sinclairville, New York, along with her mother, Kimba, and her brother slash father, Zeus. People inbreed these cats to create white tigers like Sapphire. That's the only way you get white tigers is through purposely inbreeding and that causes all kinds of genetic problems. It's just a horrible, horrible thing to do. But as long as people will go gaga over white tigers, then there are evil people who will do that to them. Julie, you are quite welcome. Whoops. <laughs> just lost our star attraction there. This is just not your best end down here. You can see she's only got a tiny stub of a tail. The place that we rescued her from kept her in a cage next door to lions, and the keepers there said that rubbing up against the fence, the lions got a hold of her tail and bit it off, bit off half of one of her ears, and tore up one of her back legs pretty badly. I don't know if you could tell, but on their back hip there, her stripes don't quite match. Uh, somebody just said their father argues that white tigers do occur in the wild. There hasn't been one seen in the wild since the 1950s, and it is possible, but it's possible because you get very isolated pockets of tigers that become very inbred, just like the Florida panther is so inbred that the cubs have kinked tails and crossed eyes and all kinds of birth defects and um, frequently are are not able to breed because when they get inbred then the cubs start being born dead because of all of the birth defects so even though the first white tiger originated in the wild it was probably from a situation like that and then people just continually, continually breed them back to their brothers and their sisters and their mothers and their fathers to create that white coat. It's that peaceful time of day. I wonder if they're still over there trying to get Diablo to take his meds. I haven't seen anybody come by to do Hoover yet. Unless they went to Nikita and went the back way and I missed them. Nope, here they come. Did not miss them. He's on the platform. Any luck with Diablo? Yeah. He took his med. So we left some food for him because he didn't eat well earlier. Is that your hungry look? I hope so. All but good stuff. And it does look a little different. Yeah. The texture. And no, once I dug through and those little nuggets started popping out, I'm like, oh yeah, that's poop. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard poop though, so maybe she's, you know. We apologize to everybody who's watching around their dinner table right yeah, now. <laughs> sorry. We talk about really gross stuff. You never want to go out to eat uh, with us. I know, because we talk about it while we're eating. Yeah. <laughs> so, probably the most adventurous poop adventure we had was Shere Khan, digging through the poop. Mm. 700 mm -hmm. pound mm -hmm. tiger poop has got to be pretty easy to spot. Mm. Oh, yeah. with the rope? With the rope. 
Oh, you were then looking for cubs. pieces of rope. And the cubs too. We had to dig yeah. through cubs poop for rope too. Ugh. Yeah. That's why I'm so happy yeah. though. I got ropes for metal now. Yes. And that this is not smell a vision. Yeah, it's that too. That too. Oh, I think the worst one though was you remember Norik's poop? Oh. Who? Norik. Norik. One of the circus tigers. Oh, it was like Norik and Princess. And I always King. called him Norik. That, oh, that's why I was like Norik. And you can use Kali as bait. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to go around back. Okay. <laughs> Where's my bike? Oh, there it's it is. Right there. Oh, Kelly heard that. Hopped right up there. <laughs> Over here, baby girl. <laughs> Doesn't leave you a whole lot of room for getting between the lake and the cats now. No. <laughs> but there's a little path. That's all we need. I'm glad you're not grabby. Yeah, I'm glad you're not a grabby tiger, Kali. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're fuffy. You're so fuffy. Is this pond leaking or is this standing water? It is leaking. Great. Is it on the maintenance chart, do you know? She's my friend, but she's not that good a friend. <laughs> I don't know what footage Afton might stockpile after a cat passes. I don't know if she archives it or what she does with it. Yes, your Facebook fundraisers really do help us care for the cats. That is a huge, meaningful number each year. And people may not think it's much when they're only trying to raise 100 or $200 from their friends, but it really adds up. Don't try to eat it upside down. Mm. Kish, kish. Kish, kish. Come in where you can get it closer. Mm. That would be nice. Come on. Keesh, keesh. Good girl. Here. Keesh, keesh. Come on, my girl. Don't 
Don't stop. I think it's Sapphire calling. The only other tiger close over there is Jasmine, but it didn't seem seem like it was further away than what she would be. You know, the cure for that is to not be so difficult, Keisha. The cure for that is to eat it. I know, that's totally my fault. It's dirty. Totally my fault. Oh, that's another one. Oh, I know I'm in trouble. Nice recovery. If you go to bigcatrescue.org forward slash Keisha, K-E-I-S-H-A, you can find out all about her rescue and the life she had before coming here and how she lost her tail. The short answer is her keepers at the place where we rescued her from said that lions tore it off. No, we did not cut her tail. We would never do anything like that. Yes, the keepers are quite persistent. If they gave up as soon as the cat said no, the cats would starve to death. <laughs> they... <laughs> oh, we have a person asking who the most stubborn cat about eating is. Yeah, right now. <laughs> it changes. Oh, it does. It changes. Um, Keisha can be pretty stubborn. I would say she is one of the more stubborn cats. I would say probably our most stubborn was Cameron. Talk to the tail. Like I already ate four more pieces than I wanted to eat. <laughs>
Oh, it paid off. Yeah. You follow Catherine that way, I can get through here. <laughs> no, but she sure was uh, attentive to what you guys were doing. She's like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at Keisha now. Hey, I need food. <laughs> Did she eat? Yeah. Good job, Keisha. Four of them. She's gnarly. So what did she like today? Um, she ate a little bit of everything and took it a bit. Oh, that's good. Did she like the turkey breast? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Keisha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes again, we're spinning. Nikita Lion gets an evening med. I forget what for now. Maybe her arthritis. She's a very old lion. I think a dozen of our cats are over the age of 20. In the wild and in most other facilities, they don't usually live past 10 or 12. Usually makes the news if they live past 10 or 12. But here they frequently live into their late teens and early 20s. We'll see if we can find a lion. Going very slowly through this very slick mud. Where's the Nikita? Where's the big girl? Oh, wet socks, wet socks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lions don't like that. Are we laying in the mud? Yeah. Who's a silly girl? Who's a silly girl? You see she comes up to Catherine's neck, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she stood up. <laughs> How tall are you, Catherine? Five, five. Yeah, and actually right here we're about on even ground. Yeah, you're kind of on a hill. We're both kind of on the hill. She's still big girl. The right? crunchy noise is why we don't pet them. <laughs> and the growly noise. And the way she can grab that me with her tongue. <laughs> you tell Carol to back off. I'm backing off. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I read like, Lion. She says, hello, Carol, I have chicken. Right. I'm making my scrunchy up face at you. Look at the wrinkles in her back leg. Is that not the cutest thing? It looks like a little Sharpe. <laughs> a little Lion Sharpe. Do you say that about me, Becky? <laughs> no, her back leg. <laughs> Hi, baby. You did so good. You did good with your snacks. Said, uh, <laughs> Mary said, I was hoping Catherine was just really short. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just that big. She is that big. I mean, I'm not tall, but she is that big. Love you, sweet girl. Love you, sweet girl. She is that big. Love you, Nick Nick. Oh. She is just adorable. Oh. I still remember when she was a baby. Puppy line. Well, to us, she was a baby. <laughs> Rolling around, grabbing her, playing with her legs, doing somersaults. And, oh. She just thought Sarabi was like the best thing in the world. And Sarabi's like, oh, get the heck away from me. <laughs> all right, all right. We're off to Hoover. I just hate to leave here.
Not like there's salt on that. Well, maybe that's what she was thinking. I wish Carol would leave, because I gotta pee. Shut your eyes. It's all bouncy for a minute. <laughs> out there. <laughs> the squirrels are all gathering around Becky. They're like, where's the bread? <laughs> she forgot to bring them any. Actually, we're seeing everything here. He's hanging it out there. But you know what? It shows us that the last surgery he had was still effective. I'm sure he's really excited about that. Whoa. Oh, no, you're all right. Squirrel again. Oh. What is it that smells over here? It's all this water. Is that a new fly trap? Ah. <laughs> 
looking to see if I saw Amanda anywhere out there, but I do not. All right, my battery is dying, so I have got to get this on a charger. I will see you guys later. Thank you everybody who joined us and shared and liked and commented and helped answer questions. Shout out to all of the top fans and supporters and Facebook fundraisers. All of our great donors out there. Thank you everybody. <laughs> Look at him laying on his back. Like, just drop the food in my mouth. Good night.